An EVIL camera is a camera that has an electronic viewfinder and the ability to use interchangeable lenses. So EVIL stands for Electronic Viewfinder Interchangeable Lenses. Because I don't like calling the camera evil because it sounds evil, I'm going to call this a mirrorless camera. Mirrorless camera. Why mirrorless camera? Because unlike DSLRs, interchangeable lens cameras that are evil are mirrorless. They don't have a mirror. And because it doesn't have a mirror, it allows for the camera to be significantly smaller. If you were to see a DSLR and you were to see a Panasonic GH2, for example, side by side, you'd think that this was its twin midget because it's so small. Here's a roll of duct tape. Here's my Panasonic GH2. That is extremely small, but the image is still beautiful because of the sensor size. Not only does having a mirrorless camera allow for the camera body to be small, but it also allows for extremely small lenses. Here's my 45 millimeter f1.8 from Olympus. Here's a Sharpie marker. Look at the size. That's incredible. That is extremely small. So you get a smaller body, smaller lenses, high quality video, high quality photo. Another benefit of having a small body and a small lens besides traveling is that when you go in to do an interview with somebody and you set this on the tripod, it's a lot less intrusive than if I had this giant shoulder mounted camera. Another benefit of using a mirrorless camera system, such as the Panasonic GH2, is that it has an electronic viewfinder. That means what I see through the viewfinder is what I'm capturing. If you're using a DSLR, you only get the live view on your external monitor here. And so typically if you're outside and it's very bright, you won't be able to see very well. So you have to purchase an accessory such as a Zacuto Z Finder, which is basically a giant magnifying glass that you slap onto the back of your camera and you kind of use that as your eyepiece in sunny situations. Another benefit of using an electronic viewfinder interchangeable lens system or a mirrorless system such as the Panasonic GH2 is that I have an unlimited recording time. With a DSLR, you have a recording limit of about 12 minutes because of heat issues and the way the mirror is working. Well, with this, I can record as long as I have space on my memory card more than just Panasonic makes Micro Four Thirds cameras. Olympus also makes Micro Four Thirds cameras, although their cameras are geared more towards photography, whereas the Panasonic G models are geared more towards video. The greatest benefit that I think many of you will be attracted to is the price. So to get in the door in the Micro Four Thirds interchangeable lens system is a lot cheaper initially than the DSLR camera system. Now to get a cheaper body, you can get a, a Panasonic GF1 or a GF2 or a GF3 or an Olympus EP1, EP2, EPL2, EPL1. You can get in the door getting the body alone for about $299 on Amazon or eBay. Do note when you're paying this much cheaper price that you are going to be sacrificing manual controls. You'll have a lot less options, but you will have the ability to switch out the lenses. Thank you for joining me. Check out our other videos. We've got great series on audio. We've got great series on lighting. We've got great contests coming up that will allow you to win some prizes. God bless you and God love you. Take care.